Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pixel 5a as it's coming up to that time where we should start seeing a lot more information being dropped and possible leak dates. And with IO 2021 going off, and that's scheduled for a May 18th event, uh, we could be seeing this unveiled there. Or according to John Prosser from Front Page Tech, leaking that it would be released June 11th. But what do we know about the Pixel 5a at this point? Well, one thing that we do know is that Google is going to try to replicate the same success that it got from the Pixel 4a, 4a 5G, and the Pixel 3a. The A-Line series from Google is to deliver the same enriched Pixel experience or stock Android experience and uh, without costing as much as a flagship. So most of the things that we do know is that it's more than likely not going to have water resistance. However, if it does bring that, that is going to be pretty awesome to have to the A-Line series, but not expected. Same polycarbonate design build um, and possibly the same uh, display design with the punch hole display, more than likely. Uh, some of the things that people want to know about is the pricing. Pricing is going to be the biggest key factor here. And let me just say this, more than likely, they're going to try to get it at a sub $400 price range. But it wouldn't surprise me if it went to $450, but I don't expect it to go above $500. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of the Pixel 5a is very, very similar to the Pixel 4a 5G. And with that being said, the Pixel 4a 5G launched at a $499 price tag, $599 if you got the 8mm wave variant. And so this could actually be about $450 or under. So that's kind of my speculations on it. Don't hold it as gospel, but that could possibly be what we're going to see from this device as far as price range. For the processing chip, it is not using Google's GS101 chip. That will be unveiled and used in the Pixel 6 and 6XL assuming that there might be a, a, a 6XL unless it's the Pixel Fold, but uh, this will still use a Qualcomm chip. Now, uh, some articles have specified a 732G. I doubt that because it would be completely backwards from the 4A 5G if this device did not have the uh, 5G connectivity. So a lot are thinking the 780G would be the processing chip in here so a chip that's beyond the 765g that was in the pixel 5 and 4a 5g um, with 5g connective connectivity um, for battery size we are expecting a 31 45 milliamp hour battery uh, camera sensors will still be the same sensors that's found in the previous pixel devices as the next change up or refresh of a camera sensor would actually appear in the pixel 6. Uh, personally i gotta say this i don't think that uh i don't know it's the oddest time to have the 5a with these specifications being leaked with the pixel 4a 5g being right around that i mean a subtle bump up in the chip processor going from a 765g to a 780g might be the only thing that you're looking to see that may be absolutely different with this device as the screen display and everything is set to be at a 6.1 or 6.2 inch display uh, as far as camera sensors, I don't know if they're going to bring in the ultra wide sensor that's found in the 4A 5G. They may bring it back to just a single sensor on the back of the device. So that remains to be seen. However, it would be a nice touch to have dual sensors in the back with one being an ultra wide. Um, that would actually be something that people might look forward to. But with the suspected possible release date of this thing being June 11th, if it was to be that release date, I think it might correlate with the Pixel Buds A, which is supposed to be a more affordable Pixel Buds that is to drop later this year, expected mid-year. Um, so it would be kind of cool to see that happen as it could be a combo pack that you can buy an A-series combo by Google, bring you a mid-range option Pixel device and a affordable Pixel Buds from the Pixel Buds 2, which was a $180 price tag. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys waiting for this? Let me know in the comment section. Give your thoughts there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, smash the like button to circulate this video, and hit for all notifications by clicking the bell and choosing all. My name is Tito. Thanks for checking this out. As always, catch me in the next one. Peace.